so I was just transplanting a bunch of um, starts that that needed to uh, be up potted and I've got these tomatoes here that I need to do also some super sweet 100s uh, California wonders and uh, San Marzano's and some Roma's um, and that's another California wonder um, and then uh, I did a bunch of marigolds earlier and uh, I've got some bulbs that I need to plant outside but I just had to take a break and um, do my acceptance letter because I'm transferring facilities again I'm leaving Memorial and going to Short Pump which is a freestanding ER it's not connected to a hospital so um, it's still overnight three days a week so I'll still be picking up on other days because it's only 36 hours so I gotta at least get my 40 but plus some anyway water these these are my tropical plants they're getting bushy which I like and they had a bunch of seeds but I don't know how to make them grow because I keep dropping them into the soil um, and watering them in but nothing no new plants so I don't, I don't really know and I don't even know what it's called um, but anyway I have my neighbor gave me some of his irises they're purple but they're so dark they almost look black anyway just wanted to check in I'll show you the garden outside in a little while alright here's my patio again Every day I'm out here doing a little bit of work. I just planted some Creeping Jenny in my pineapple plant and uh, gave it some new dirt with some nutrients in it. And um, I just transplanted all of these lettuces in this one and that one. Two new pots from Ollie's. They were $7.99 each. They're probably 12 inches in diameter, I would say. They're pretty big. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plants in that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in that one. So it might be a little too much, but we'll see. I just want them to be full when they grow I want it to I want it to be full and beautiful looking um anyway I've got um marigold over here and this is one that I was excited to see this one is the I forget what it's called but it's it reminds me of the the teddy bear um sunflower and this is a teddy bear marigold that's what I'm calling it anyway. Um, I have pruned these two Kellogg's breakfast tomatoes. They're doing really well. They had probably between the two of them, um, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten suckers that were pretty big. And so I trimmed them off and, um, stuck them in their own pots <laughs> I know a little overboard but um, it's just an experiment I know I know they'll grow roots and, and they'll start growing but um, they'll take a little longer to do so but I just want to see it's an experiment just to see how long it'll take them I just planted this sweet alyssum in some of these bins with the um, tomatoes not that one I don't think that one got any but some of the others did around here and then these little flowers they're called Lanaria something or other there's another one there there's some more alyssum they're not looking that great so instead of losing them I decided to plant them out here and see how that goes um, 
kale. Definitely need to harvest fats and make some green juice. Um, and then look at my baskets. The portulacas are doing really good. One of them in the house. Ooh, I see one here too. You see that one? It's got a, a bud that will be blooming soon. Um, it's like a month early. There's another one that has a bud. Um, it's about a month early. And I see some over here too that have buds. But um, one in the house bloomed and it was so pretty. It was like hot pink. But these ones are uh, sundial peach color. So they're going to be peachy. And these uh, nasturtiums are Alaskan salmon. So I'm thinking they'll probably be salmon-y, peachy color as well. So that's the theme for my hanging baskets, peachy colors. And um, dang, I forget what these are, but they're coming up. They're bulbs that I planted. And the only sunflower that made it out of all of them that I planted in here is that one there. And I can't even remember which one it is. Uh, so we'll see. I think it's one that only gets like three feet high or something like that. Um, but I'm going to plant another one. I started some more, um, I started some more, um, of a few different varieties of sunflowers, um, including the, uh, big mammoths. I have some strawberries that are I guess ready to pick and there's one over here on this this one that is exactly bunny height my neighbor told me his tomatoes that I gave him the, the miniature tomatoes were eaten and somebody took a bite out of this last night apparently because it was a full strawberry yesterday when I inspected this bed yesterday anyway a bunch of them are turning or ripening. There's one here. The kids. There's this one little girl that comes around just about every day if she sees me out here. And she goes, can I taste something from your garden? And so every day I give her a piece of lettuce because that's the only thing that's ready. And I'm just examining my carrots here. This one looks like somebody has started to eat it. Look, I'm like examining it and it looks like one side of this carrot. Oh yeah, look at that. I just pulled it up. Hang on. Sorry. Maybe bugs got to it, but look at that. Have you ever seen that before? This is my first semi-successful carrot. I've never seen that before. Of course, I've never grown carrots successfully either, but there were a couple that were really close to that one, so this gives them some room to grow. There's a couple, there's quite a few in here. And there's this one here. And then these garlics. Garlics look like they're doing pretty good. Anyway, look at that. Wow. I guess, do you think it's still edible? Maybe I'll try to eat something. Eat it. Maybe I'll clean it off and stick it in my smoothie for my green juice. Anyway, just wanted to, I'm rambling, just wanted to show off everything. And also, one thing I wanted to point out, when you get your green stock, make sure that that is completely inside. That's why my green stalk looks like it's about to tip over because that's not incorrectly. It should look like this. It should 
it should be just like that flush like it's all one piece and it's not on that level and on that level this side looks okay right here but around here it does not well the top one is on pretty good but the third level is not so that's why it looks like it's gonna tip over so I'm gonna have to remedy that I'm gonna need some help though and I'm gonna have to harvest a lot of that those greens before I do it but anyway still have a bunch of lettuces that I need to plant so I'll take those over to mom's house and um, hold up some of these tulip bulbs from this bed and I planted some lupins there's one there and one there and the birds dug up that um, celosia yesterday jerks but anyway this the mums are still in there oh, only one of them didn't make it from last year and I can't believe that these pansies are still doing well actually I can you want to know why because it's been a pretty cool spring so far it's been pretty cool in temperature so that explains it anyways planted these celosia and those are my um, cilantro and these are the uh, the other one <laughs> not the cilantro why am I having a brain fart the uh, parsley dang didn't even have it on the tip of my tongue something wrong with me anyway so I just made some new dirt a new dirt mixture and I'm gonna plant some um, bulbs in that one I think um, they're the caladium and uh, I was getting ready to dig up the ones that were right here but upon inspection they are rooting and starting to come alive so I left them in they're just taking a really long time I guess I'm really impatient anyway I planted some there and along the edge over there and then some more along the edge right here under this mulch they like shade uh, partial shade to full shade so it's all gonna be pretty good this little area right here will get more Sun than the others but I bought a box of them from Sam's Club yesterday and uh, because I didn't think that the ones that I purchased from Walmart were doing anything, but I guess they are. I guess they are doing something. Anyway, in these two buckets on either side of the sidewalk here, I'm going to plant an eggplant and some peppers. Um, so that uh, spinach over there looks like it's getting ready to bolt pretty soon so I'll be taking those out and I think next week when I'm off again I'll be able to plant the eggplant and the peppers because they like it to be warm warm and uh, this week still we've got some nights in the 50s and then next week the nights will be in the 60s and the days will be like in the 70s and 80s so I think next week is the best time for me to plant those and uh, I hope they're not stunted because I actually left them outside overnight just the eggplants and some of the tomatoes not the peppers but I've noticed that my peppers let me go ahead and show you real quick um, my peppers Jackson's on the sofa looking out the window barking at everybody that everything moving that he can see Anyway, peppers. Where are the peppers? They're over here. Look. I have blooms already. And they're just in these two and a half inch pots. So I definitely planted them way too soon, I think. Or possibly just needed to up plant them and into like these five inch pots and I never did. So um boops. That's my bad. I also noticed that this dahlia, I have two dahlias right here. Um, this one 
has a bloom that's getting ready to start. You see that? And that one, I believe, may also have one that's that it's cooking up right there. You see that? Anyway, um, these are all of mom's experiments um, from Jesse's cuttings. And she used spit and cinnamon to um, to root them. These are my experiments from his cuttings that I took home yesterday. They're not doing so good because I used moist soil, but I didn't water after I put them in. And so they're all pretty wilty, but they'll, they'll make a comeback. Um, anyway, uh, I used a rooting compound and I'm just experimenting. Um, it's not like I'm going to do anything with them. I'm not like going to go all out and make a grow room for them or anything. These are moms. She brought them over here. I don't want them. She left them. And my garlics. I need to plant them in something somewhere ASAP because the garlics are doing good. Um, they have a pretty good root system here. If I lift this up, I'll show you. Look. Look at those roots. Look at those roots. So I need to hurry up and get those in the ground at mom's house. I'm going to go over there tomorrow. Hope it's not raining. Hope it's not going to rain tomorrow. But I have some tomatoes over on my planting station in the living room that I need to um, plant up. Because um, they're just in some tiny little pots like that. There's like two in each pot. So I need to up plant those. But those are the marigolds that I up potted earlier. And um, these are some of the peppers, the bull nose peppers that I did earlier also. And uh, I up potted the mums that I had growing and I started some new ones. And then these, what are these? Forgot already. Oh, those are the mammoth sunflowers in those empty looking pots. And then all the rest of those leafy, big leafy things are the, um, the, um, garden candy. Shit, I'm also, I'm losing my brain now. They're, um, the ground cherries. Damn, what, something wrong with me. I need to go get some ginkgo biloba or something for my memory. But anyway, all those flowers back there I need to plant. I need to just take them over to mom's house and find somewhere to put them because, um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm to capacity over here. Anyway, here are the portulacas that um, had a bloom yesterday. It was one of these. Does it just bloom once and then... Yeah, it looks like it just blooms once. Because look, here's... Can you see that? That's the one that bloomed yesterday. Hot pink. And uh, I guess it grows more. More buds. Because... See, that one has like two buds on it. Anyway, these ones are not the peachy color. These ones are mixed. Calypso mix is what they're called. So I'm excited to see those. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I'll let you go. There's a bunch of flowers over there also that I started last night. And I got more that I need to start later tonight also. And... Senor Ignacio in the corner over there needs to come out. He needs to go outside. But I think I'm going to do that next week as well. Because it'll be warm. Okay, bye-bye. So, this is my harvest from the grain stock just now. Got a bunch of Swiss chard and spinach. And some pretty big kale leaves which I'm going to use for my green juice. I think I'm gonna use the kale for the green juice. But I also got, this one plant was part of my lettuce mix. And I was just watching a YouTube video earlier that said exactly what this plant was. Rocket, I think. Um, it has like this milky white substance when you cut it. It like 
bleeds this white milky stuff anyway it smells very bitter and not appetizing at all but I'm going to maybe put that in a green juice too um, anyway so I'm gonna wash it all up and uh, I think I'm gonna use my, the the entire carrot including the, the green tops too um, in the green juice but first I have to go to the store and get some green apples because Sam's Club didn't have any every time I go to Sam's Club I see the green apples and I'm like no I'm not gonna get it just now just yet because I'm not ready to make the green juice yet the one time I go just for green apples they don't have it so that's just the way the universe works anyway that's what's gonna happen and I'm gonna make burani bonjon tonight I think also for dinner I have some fresh tomatoes and an eggplant in the fridge bought some garlic naan to go with it and some bell peppers so I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do oh I don't have any yogurt guess I'll pick some of that up at the store too anyway that's what that's gonna turn into some green juice so I just got back from Kroger and uh, look what I found giant colossal hot dogs these are like way bigger than the bun look at how small these buns are it's like one and a half times the size of the button. <laughs> Look at it. It's so big. That's what I'm going to have for a evening snack before I make this green juice and um, Burani Banjan. I'm going to make that tonight. Mom's coming over after work. And uh, I'm going to feed her and send her home with lunch and some green juice. And um, anyway, so she'll be taken care of tomorrow. But I just thought that was the coolest thing, these giant hot dogs. Because the bun, the regular ones are usually like the same size as the bun, but it ends up being shorter because you always get like a bigger bite of the hot dog. And then you're just left with like a last bite of bread, basically. So, this should cure that problem. Alright, so I'm getting ready to make my green juice. I've got everything prepared. This is all the kale from my green stock that I harvested from the very first harvest that I shared maybe a couple weeks ago. I washed it and put it in the fridge and it was still good. And then um, what I harvested today. And there's also a few spinach leaves that got through. Um, got some carrot top from my carrot that I harvested and there's my carrot. There's some ginger and celery in there. I threw in some pineapple. There's one orange. Um, cucumber and some from leftover from the other day. I put three green apples because they're small. See, they're pretty small. And um, what else is in here? Have I forgotten something? Oh, you know what? I've forgotten the lemons. I had some in the fridge that I have no idea what happened to them. So um, I need to get a couple from the fruit basket. But anyway, this is my green juice, and then this is the discard bag from what comes out here, the pulp. And I'll give it to mom to take home to the chickens. Um, so, let's get started. So, you never want to turn on the juicer without something in it. I usually start with, like, ginger and celery. Um, kale. Okay. On button. There we go.
look at that bright green juice and all that froth. And you could turn that stuff into, you know, like kale chips or something. But I ain't nobody got time for all that. So I got two containers of this. That's the first container. It's been strained twice. I strain it first in here. And then secondly, I strain it in there. Of course, I did add one, um, one of these. Because I like to add coconut water to my green juice. I always add it at the end. So that it can just like flush out whatever is in here getting masticated. And this is the pulp. This is from one, um, one recipe, essentially, like, from the, um, what is that, um, name of that guy? Fat, sick, and nearly dead, Joe somebody. Anyway, uh, the recipe was from him, and, of course, I, I don't know, it might be doubled. It's probably doubled. Um, but anyway, this will probably make three or four jars of green juice. I've got, I think those are 16 ounce, 16 ounce jars. Um, so that's what I'm going to put them in. And I don't like it fresh. I like to drink it like a few hours later or the next day. Just the fresh flavor is a little too much for me. But I'll give it a taste anyway after it's all mixed together. Look at that beautiful bright green color. Alright, here's my taste. Ooh, that's really sweet. Put too much sugar stuff in it, I guess. <laughs> I guess I need to lay off the the fruit. Cause oh, and I forgot to mention that there were some green grapes that I put in there too. So yeah, it was super sweet. Three green apples, probably a cup of grapes, uh, probably a cup of pineapple, one orange, two lemons. one cucumber, a whole bunch of kale, three ribs of celery, um, one and a half inch knuckle of ginger, that carrot that I harvested and the carrot tops. So that's it. That's everything in there. It tastes really good though. I like it. pretty good very sweet that's why it's good I put some ice in it even fresh this was the fourth bottle three bottles of those and then one of this so anyway um, it's really good mom will like it and she'll be set for tomorrow for food. Alright, so I've prepped everything that I need for the Burani Banjong. This is a small eggplant, believe it or not. I sliced it about a quarter of an inch thick and I salted each side and just laid it on the counter to, um, you know, to uh, sweat out the bitter juices and um, this is five Roma tomatoes and two green bell peppers one red yellow and orange bell pepper and over here I've got some peanut oil that I'll fry it up in and uh, turmeric and chili powder 
that's it. That's all it needs. And of course, salt and pepper uh, to taste. So what I'll do is um, get the oil hot and first I'll fry up the bell peppers and the eggplants. And with whatever oil is left over, um, if it's not too much, um, then I'll fry up the tomatoes in the, the rest of the oil and um, add the chili and turmeric to the pan um, and salt and pepper. And that's it. And then um, after the tomatoes are cooked down, then I'll add the eggplant, the fried eggplant and peppers back into the pan in layers. And then, um, then I'll get the non bread um, baked in the oven to warm up. And, um, and we'll eat that on top of some yogurt. And I'll crush some dried mint on top of it. And that's going to be our dinner. So I'm frying up the bell peppers. Fried up the green ones first. And then I have one more, one more batch to fry up after this one is done. And then I'll do the eggplant. Okay. So, oh shit. I poured the hot oil in this bowl and it just cracked. And now it's leaking into the sink, so... I gotta take care of that real quick. But on another note, I just finished frying up the eggplant and I um, I'm gonna put the tomatoes in the pan real quick. And I've got my spices here. So in goes the turmeric. And the chili powder. Oh, it smells like Indian food up in here. Except it's not Indian food. Ooh. And in go the tomatoes. Doing this one handed is kind of hard. So we're going to let the tomatoes cook down until they're nice and mushy. Take care of my oil mess over here. All right, so this is the Urani Bonjon. I'm getting ready to put it together. I'm gonna put some of this yogurt. Mom didn't come over after work. She was tired. She said, so "I'll just bring her some of this." in the morning before she goes and then I'll put some of this on I put it in the oven and baked it nice and steamy And you just put a little bit of that. Sorry, I'm not a good 
cameraman when I'm doing this. One handed. Let's put a little bit of that on there. A little bit more. I think my favorite part is the bell peppers, to be honest. There we go. Because they have a sweetness to them. You know? And this is my dried mint. And I have my non. Over here. So I'm going to grub on this. And I hope mom enjoys hers tomorrow.